hi everyone welcome back to the exgjs video tutorial in this video we are going to learn that how we can make a bar chart in the exgjs so these are the steps that we are going to uh, do in this video so first of all uh, i already added the exgjs cdn uh, you can also install if you want because it's a long process to install that so i just make it uh, compact so i just install the xtj cdn and you can get these cdn from the uh, my description box also all right and after that i make a app.js file i already made this file and this is a blank for now all right i'm just going to uh, start my code from here and this file is included inside the here after the xtjs files all good and after that i will make a chart component and in this chart component i will add a small store all right and it's be a quick store and uh, with that all these three steps you can easily make a xtjs bar chart so now let's start so first of all i'm just going to create a component so just going to write here ext.create and inside this i'm just going to pass a parameter name and this is the uh, ext dot chart dot uh addition chart all right and this is the first parameter in the second parameter i have an i have to pass an object and here we will provide the lots of uh, uh property and first property is the render you can write the properties up and down as, as you wish so i am just going to write here first property which is the render to and it will help to where we have to render this component i'm just want, want to render this component on the body so i'm just going to write here document dot body as a second parameter i'm just going to write the width so width i can put like uh, 600 for now and height and height could be i think 400 is enough all right and now i'm just going to add the store key only and i will just add the store after some time uh, after the completing of the code for uh, this chart component all right and now i just have to the two important properties which is the axis and series so first of all i'm just going to use the axis and in the axis uh, i have to use the array and in the two uh, arrays first will be the type of numeric and second will be the type of categories they will define the x and y coordinates so in the first i'm just going to use the numeric so this should be the type equal to numeric type colon numeric all right uh, okay so i just have to add here an object then i can use the numeric value all right and after that i have to uh, pu put the positions so in the position i can just put the left right whatever i want so i just put the left here and after that i can just use the fields uh field should be visible with the store so i'm just going to put a blank them and the same thing i'm just going to copy it and just going to paste it the next time for the same time and here i'm just going to define the type of category all right so let me check the spell all right so after that uh, the position can be bottom i'm just going to show it on the bottom left side all right and field should be the same blank for now just uh, make them for in the format and the last property i'm just going to use the series so in this series i have to define the bar type sorry chart type this is the bar and after that the uh, x and y field in the x oh that's fine now so i'm just going to add the x and y field and i will put the values just within some moments but before them i just want to check that is there any error or not in graph all right so just come here and let's see okay so bar is floated here but there is still no value that how we can do that so just come on the code and i'm just going to add the store for the store add first of all i have to add the property data right inside the data should be an array and i'm just going to put here name 
and let's say name is uh, metric one all right that's nice name and the same name is used with the ext sometime also so uh, okay so i have to add a second key also so second key let's say value all right and value is um one that's nice so now i have to define the axis uh, and the fields name so i can just put the value in the numeric and field uh, name inside the uh, category and the same thing i have to put here name for the x axis and for the y axis i just put the values so there is a one value now let's see the output all right so now you can see that one value here so let's add some more value so that you can see a complex graph here okay just put it here okay so i think that's enough let's provide the two three okay three four five and values like uh, 9 12 3 6 5 6 all right so now let's see the graph and here is a nice graph so if you want to add some more then this is also good like um, 6 7 here you can put the values like 2 and one more and let's check so now you can see the more values here so this is the best and simple way to create your uh, bar chart and with that chart you can add the colors and uh, you can make the this uh, store from the apis you can use the gradient color you can use the title for there and there and much more there's a lots of things you can watch in the official documentation if you want because if i am just if provide the every property then it will take a huge time so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching this